women tend not to be memorialized and that you're, you could go almost anywhere and you're not gonna find statues of women. 125 women in science representing what women can be and who they are. That's powerful. If Then is an initiative that was created by Lida Hill Philanthropies that is all about empowering women in STEM. I am very fortunate to have been chosen as 125 women in STEM, selected from very diverse fields to be a high profile role model for girls. It was a hard thing to do to only choose 125, but then to be able to work with them and to have them build a community themselves, that to me has been very exciting. The most effective method for conservation is mentoring young girls. That is a great hypothesis. <laughs> if then really gives these opportunities to girls, if they have a certain field they want to go into, I can reach out to if then and they'll guide me to what I want to do. I want to be a marine biologist. I want to try to find a way to stop the deforestation of kelp. It was an audacious thing for me to choose to go into science. As a black girl at that time, never seen anybody identified as a scientist who looked anything like me, and therefore I was having to become something I had never seen. A lot of women back then didn't have the choice. So we want to be able to, to show other girls that the choice is there and that there's people like them in these fields. Glida Hill invested in a different narrative, sending a signal that your talent is needed, that your perspectives are needed to solve the problems of the world. Marine biology was more like a question of if I was ever going to do it, but now I'm actually working towards being a marine biologist and I have all these opportunities. This is just part of this larger vision that science has a major role to play in addressing the challenges in the world. Lida Hill supports research. She supports conservation. It has made a world of difference.